beautiful project called the Mojo Mecca, which for me is a hub of all things medicinal, all things holistic. And the main way that I am really inspired to share this information is through media, is through really working with these new technologies that we have in these social media platforms to share knowledge and information that is good and that's uplifting and that can really help us. And especially this generation, my generation, all the people that are at this beautiful festival right now. So I feel really, really grateful to be here and to be aligning with Global Village, which also holds that same intention of just giving people a source where they can come and feel uplifted and heal a bit more or learn some new information. So really grateful for Global Village and for Kate for having me here and allowing me this little slot every day to bring up people that I find inspiring to this, to this stage. And I really felt like the best way to kick off this session would be to bring up Uncle Magpie, who is a local indigenous man in this area and holds a lot of space. And I'm really grateful to have him here today and to just share a little bit more about the land, this land here, and the importance of paying our respects to it. So, thank you so much. My name is Magpie. I'm a local Minyang Bal man. Um, I've been coming to the Spread on the Grass for many years now as a custodian of this area and a song keeper, knowledge holder. Um, I like to think of uh, Spread on the Grass as a, a platform for us to display our, our culture, our knowledge, our song, our dance, our art, in all our uh, different ways. But uh, it's also a way of uh, teaching, reaching out to a younger generation, Aboriginal people, to help them along the way, you know. I mean, Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people, uh, the young ones here are a little bit lost, they need a little bit of direction in life. So for us, it's, it's uh, way to hold their hand, guide them through the life, guide them through life uh, a little bit. And uh, yeah, through song and dance, I'm teaching uh, next generation down, two generations down. I have uh, my dance trip, I work with uh, nephews, nieces, grandsons, granddaughters, I work with all of them. Um, that way it helps them uh, feel a little bit normal, gives them uh, meaning in life. That's from a Minyang Bal perspective, your way. Beautiful. And so you held an opening ceremony here also. I would really love to just hear more about the intention of that and what you were hoping, hoping to, to bring forth and to open up through doing that. Well, for years now, before we the festival starts, uh, every Thursday morning I We'll do a smoking ceremony uh, up on the hill, and uh, that hill it's a very special, sacred place also. So the purpose of a smoking ceremony is to help balance out the land. It helps to connect the past, the present, and the future. So you know everything uh, runs smoothly for the next four days. So another thing besides a smoking ceremony, I, I burnt uh, uh, some bush incense. And uh, what that does, it takes control of the weather. So that we're not going to get too much rain or too much wind. Well, I've got one and one right. <laughs> so the rain's held off, but the wind is still here. So I'll have to do something about that later on. And what just came to mind then is, so for people at this festival, for this younger generation that you're speaking of, do you have anything specifically like a small little ritual or a practice or something that that you personally do or that you've found can help people in their daily lives to connect more to the land and to keep feeling in balance yes uh, well actually in the closing ceremony after the, on sunday we have what we call an oka ceremony 
what we do, we get as many people as we can, and uh, we stand in a circle and we pass the white ochre around. And what everyone's going to do is take a pinch of the white ochre and throw it onto the earth. What we're doing there is connecting with the earth, and with your feet standing on the ground and you throwing that ochre, you paying respect back to our ancestors and the land because uh, the Earth Mother is very important to not only just Aboriginal people, all people that live here but our children of the mother. So we have to pay respect to back to the mother. So we do that through the one way of doing it through the Ochre ceremony. That'll be um, Sunday afternoon so I invite as many people as I want we can come in and um, share in that and that uh, ceremony. Beautiful, thank you so much. Do you have any other little pieces of gold or wisdom to leave people with today? Yeah, look, they can come over to my art shop and buy some art of me. And <laughs> so, because uh, in Aboriginal sense, uh, art isn't just for art's sake. It, uh, we don't have writing, so, Art is our way of connecting and, and teaching. Art is our writing. Thank you so much for being here and for holding this space as you do. I'm yeah, grateful to have had a bit more time with you. So thank you everyone for tuning into this little interview. You are. Thank you very much for listening.